Hi, I'm Gohar Vardanyan, and this is Strings by Mail Unexplored Repertoire Series. In this video, I'll be reading through a piece called Night Song by Jean-Marie Raymond. After going through this piece, I think it would be most appropriate for someone with advanced intermediate skills. And I say that because there are many jumps uh, from a higher position to a lower position on the fretboard, and a beginner trying to tackle that would have a difficult time maintaining the melody and getting all the notes cleanly. So if you want to enjoy the piece, uh, I'd say make sure you have enough proficiency in the left hand to be able to enjoy the melodies and not struggle with them too much. The piece is very well fingered. It's, um, it has fingerings basically for, for everything, and the measures that aren't fingered um, are usually repetitions of some, something that happened before, so they're just trying not to be redundant and rewrite the fingerings. There is one place where I have changed the fingerings a little bit just to make it a lot smoother, especially since that passage happens more than once, and it, by making the fingerings more playable, you're reducing the chances of um, messing up so many times in one piece. So that passage starts in measure 22. I'll go through it the way it's written slowly. And at first glance, the fingering seems fine, um, but there is a better and a smoother way of doing it. So I keep the, the first chord the way it's written. The second chord, instead of playing that F on the fifth string, I play it on a fourth string, so here. Then the next chord, the, the position and the note places are the same, but the fingering is different. So instead of playing this note, the F, with the one finger the way it's written, I play it with two. The next measure is the same. And that last chord, instead of jumping all the way here, I change it to here. So the notes obviously remain the same. The only thing I've changed is instead of playing the G over here, I change it and play it on the second string. And that also requires changing the fingering for the C. It's written with one, I change it to two, and my one is free to play the G. This way, you can make
make it smooth, smoother transition between from here to here rather than jumping. Whenever you have to jump across a string and so many measures, uh, so many frets, what happens is the last note doesn't get its due duration because we have to take it off in time just to make the jump. So anytime you can find a note that's closer, that doesn't require you jumping over strings and so many frets, take that option. And here as well, doing this is a lot easier than doing than jumping because even though this is okay, actually missing that switch has a higher chance. And it's, it makes it a bit awkward to have the fingers spread out so far from each other. So I changed it to the fourth string, the bass. And that way everything works seamlessly and smoothly. So if you'd like to order the piece and you think you have enough left hand proficiency to play it, you can find a direct link to this piece in the Strings by Mail catalog below um, in the description of this video. Thank you for watching.